Welcome back my faithful legionnaires to another episode of GTA 5 mod reviews slash showcases. Now I know what you're thinking, it has been a few days, but nevertheless I'm here making a new one for you guys. Now, as per usual, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. It is one small click for you, but for us here it is something massive, and if you do so you will become our latest legionnaires. So, don't forget to hit it. It takes all of one second. Go on, just down there. In the bottom right. There you go. Now that you've hit it, we will hop into our beautiful Nissan Titan. We're still waiting for Nissan, but, you know, we're still a small channel, but maybe one day we'll pick him up as a sponsor. So let's hop in and mosey on with the video. So today we are looking at none other than Slave One. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one is because of good old Boba Fett himself is coming out with his own brand new show him all by himself the book of bubba so that is why we are doing this episode today because i thought why not now this model has been done by one of our faithful legionnaires that has been a regular on the channel because we have reviewed lots and lots of his mods so far the reason being he does good mods so that's why we keep on looking at them now this ha has some awesome texturing on it uh, for some reason Though on mine, when I spawned it in, uh, the flaps or wings, whatever you want to call those things, came out black, as you can see. But other than that, it is an absolutely stunning model. And the cockpit, you can have a good look in there. There we go. You've got all the little dials that you would need. And you can sit in it nicely. Hang on. Yep, there we go. So that would be our view somewhat, which I will show when we get inside it. Oh, that's a bit... Ugh. Mind turning. I am kind of lost. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. Now, my absolutely favourite part on this model is these little... Uh, sh I guess you could call them shield cover kind of things that uh, help protect the armour. That's what I'm saying. Armour of the ship that gives it that nice texturing there and now you get to have a good look at the ramp unfortunately the ramp isn't functional that could be something that the modder could update later on down the track like a functional ramp and whatnot and rotating guns for when it's like this but nevertheless it is still an absolutely stunning model when we get inside it as you will see and we will do our normal fly around as well so you'll get ready for that now i am still looking at trying to find some really cool flying music to add it to when we're flying around but alas i still haven't found anything yet i'm still working on it now functionality of this um particular model the wings flaps whatever you want to call them do rotate when we take off the actual whole thing rotates so it, it would be flying like how you would see in star wars itself Guns, it does have functioning weapons. It has these two right here, as well as rockets, as per usual. But I will not be showcasing those in this particular episode yet, because GTA still doesn't like it for me. I just need more processing power, but eventually we'll get there, uh, because it just glitches out my game. Now, let's hop out of the car and mosey inside Slave 1. Now, I don't care what anyone says. It is Slave 1, it has always been Slave 1, and it will remain Slave 1 in my books. So, let's mosey on over. That's close enough. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't sound like Slave 1. It still sounds like just a GTA uh, Jeff kind of thing, but that is okay. It is what it is, but you still get Slave 1 in your game nonetheless. So, let's take off. Yeah, full good rotation, just like you would see in GTA, and it's like I said, vertical takeoff too. Now we're up, got some altitude, we will switch into the actual way I believe it always should be. Whoop. There we go. That looks absolutely awesome, flying Slave 1 around in GTA. Now this thing has some absolutely stunning speed as well, so... And you can, you can have it back in hover mode, this would be technically it's hover mode. Um, in normal GTA, it looks a bit weird, in my in my opinion. But I mean, it still looks weird flying around like this as well. But it is damn cool. Now you can get some really good moves out of it. I'm not going to get too close to that water. We have a track record, as we well know. Good old loop de loop. 
Nice. A little bit close to that water. Now, unfortunately, the uh, boosters or whatever you want to call them on the back don't uh, are not functional either. But maybe that is something that could be revisited. I'm unsure. It's not up to me, obviously. It's up to the modder. So if he ever wants to update it, you know, we're all for it. So, now I think what's left is to put this into our normal drone mode. So I didn't put in a bloody marker to help us out. Now we usually we go there. Boop. We'll get a bit further away and then we'll put it into drone mode as it were. But you can get some really good, really good maneuverability in this thing. I absolutely love flying around in, the, in these ships. It's cool. Yeah! And you can actually see the pilot in it as well. Which is really cool. So Legionnaires, I will now shut my mouth, let you guys enjoy the awesomeness of Slave 1 flying around in GTA. Alrighty, my legionnaires, I think that's enough futzing around of flying that you've seen the ship having a good fly around. Now I think it is time we bring it in for a landing. Now bear in mind our landings have not always been the best, so yeah, let's see how this goes with a completely different kind of vehicle. Now because of it being like a different type, it might allow us to do it slightly better than before. Bring it forward just a bit, there we go. Ooh. Nicely done. So Legionnaires, let's cut to the ground when we're safe and sound out of the ship and to close out the episode. A few minutes later. And there we have it, Legionnaires. Slave One standing right behind us next to our beautiful Nissan Titan. If you enjoyed this mod, it will be in the description below as per usual, so you can find it, download it, and put it into your GTA, and have a good old jolly time flying around in Slave 1. Now, we were going to dress up for Bubba Fett in this, but I just couldn't get it to work. So, Legionnaires, if you enjoyed this episode, remember, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We are up to 66. Damn! We are getting somewhere. But there is always room for more in our Legion. So hit that like and subscribe button, as it really does help us out. And until the next one, Legionnaires.